What's going on guys? This is James Allen. Today is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Hope you're taking care of yourself out there, you misfits. And I got a good uh, investment opportunity to share with you. And today, as the title implies, I want to talk about Algorand. And it's a crypto I've mentioned before, but I think um, my recent research and studies on this blockchain has really um, boosted my confidence in investing in Algorand. And I want to share with you some of the stuff I've discovered. So let's start with the founder. Uh, the Algorand founder is uh, Silvio Macaulay. Very smart guy. Uh, he's a professor at MIT, and I think he uh, he has a bachelor's in mathematics and a PhD in computer science from uh, from Berkeley, I believe. And he's also a Turing Award winner. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a Turing Award is like a Nobel Prize in the field of computer science. It's the top award in the field of computer science. And uh, Sylvia McCauley uh, won a Turing Award, I believe, in 2012. So very smart guy, very competent founder. Now let's look at the Algorand architecture itself. Um, the blockchain architecture of Algorand is quite interesting because um, uh, it's a layer one blockchain like Cardano and Ethereum. But um, what's interesting about uh, Algorand is that it's not only a layer one blockchain, it has its, uh, its own in-house layer two solution. So its blockchain architecture is interesting in that it's actually two layers as opposed to one layer, which uh, most uh, blockchains only support. So what do I mean by that? So layer one is where uh, most transactions happen. It's the main net where, um, you know, uh, crypto transactions happen, uh, verifications happen, authentication. Uh, NFTs are also minted on uh, layer one. And there's also some basic smart contract support on layer one. However, there are smart contracts that are so computationally heavy that they are not done on a layer one blockchain because that would take too much processing power and it would congest the network. So heavier, more computationally um, uh, smart contract are, are usually on layer two blockchain. Uh, for an example, Ethereum has a layer two blockchain called Polygon. Polygon is a side chain of Ethereum. And, you know, it, it's, it's a perfect example of a layer two blockchain where uh, Ethereum offload a lot of the work to Polygon so that its network is not congested. So Algorand has its own uh, layer two solution. And how it does that is um, in, in its network of nodes, right? Uh, the, the computers, the miners that are very powerful, Algorand reserve those miners so that if a smart contract that's pretty computational, computationally heavy pops up, it would dedicate uh, that smart contract to its selected nodes that could handle that load. So Algorand does not need a, a, a layer two blo uh, blockchain or a side chain, as some people call it, uh, to do this kind of work. Its architecture uniquely support both layer one and layer two um, uh, protocols, which is pretty cool. Uh, in terms of uh, its, its uh, mining method, uh, it's a proof of stake um, uh, type of blockchain, not proof of work like Bitcoin. But it's what's called a pure proof of stake. Uh, and what that means is uh, it's also interesting in the sense that Algorand is so interesting that most cryptos have something called staking where you could uh, stake your cryptos and earn rewards uh, at, because you, by staking your crypto, you become a validator. Algorand don't even need uh, people to go to their crypto wallet and stake their crypto. Uh, it's a pure, pure proof of stake in a sense that like, each time a new block is minted, it automatically rewards Algorand holders. So I think Algorand by default have a 4 to 6% APR, and that's without even you staking it. But there are also ways to earn extra rewards on Algorand, and you could uh, vote. You could take part of its governance structure. You could basically help vote on decisions uh, on how Algorand evolves, and you, you kind of allocate your algos for three month voting period. You 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 vote by allocating your algorands uh, to a decision for three months, and after that three months, you get a reward for voting and participating in uh, algorand evolving. And I actually tried to um, um, 
vote uh, in, in that uh, governance period of Algorand, but uh, you know that time ran out. So there's actually a, a commitment period where you're eligible to vote. There's a window to vote, and I missed that period. I nearly cried. Uh, but I think there's going to be a new governance period opening up on March 31st. So those of you who do buy Algorand, don't forget to go uh, cast your vote on March 31st. That's when the new window opens, and I think it lasts two weeks. So get your reward, guys. So Algorand has uh, an interesting uh, blockchain architecture. It's two layers in-house, and it's also a pure proof of stake, meaning uh, everyone that holds Algorand automatically gets rewarded. Uh, they get 4 to 4 to 6% APR. And you could also um, uh, uh, participate in the governance and get paid for it by uh, voting and allocating your Algorand through a three-month period uh, when you cast that vote and you get your reward after three months. So really cool uh, stuff so far. Now let's move on to what's happening on top, what's being built on top of Algorand. There, there are cool projects that are already on top of Algorand. For an example, Tether, which is a stable coin, and USD coin, which is another stable coin. They're both built on top of Algorand. But there's also super interesting uh, projects like uh, Agro Token, which is a blockchain project that tokenizes commodities, whether it's grain, rice, beans. Uh, it tokenizes these commodities, and people are basically able to back farmers and growers um, uh, that are growing this food and each token is backed by a real commodity. So you know that, uh, you know, um, uh, your, your money's not fiat basically, right? It's backed by something real. So it's a great way for farmers to hedge, um, uh, you know, their crops so that, you know, if, you know, that's kind of like a futures market through a token, right? So, cause that's what futures contracts are for is to prevent farmers from going bankrupt in case the price fluctuate in the future. So this agro token business is doing what the futures market does right now, but through blockchain and that's built on top of Algorand. So there's already cool projects on top of Algorand. Like I said, numerous stable coins and agro token is an example, but Believe it or not, that, that's actually not what really <laughs> got me going crazy for Algorand in the sense that, that that's, that's not the giant green flag that caught my attention. All these are great things. I think Algorand also has some of the highest transaction per second uh, capacity. I think it can handle 6,000 uh, transactions per second. The only uh, blockchain protocol that I think is faster than Algorand is Solana. But I can't take Solana seriously, right? It's been hacked so many times that... If you if you're taking Solana seriously, you got you got some issues in my opinion. Uh, so Algorand, uh, in terms of uh, protocol, really looks strong. But what caught my attention is this: the Marshall Islands recently came out with uh, a, a CBDC called SOV. Uh, SOV is a legal tender. I, I believe it came out on uh, February 26, 2018, or something like that. And it's, it's it's legal tender, just like the dollar or the euro, and SOV, which is a CBDC, it's 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 a it's 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 a digital currency, is actually built on top of a, a blockchain, a layer one blockchain. And guess which blockchain is built on top of this legal tender? It's built on top of Algorand. So the Marshall Islands, which came out with their own D CBDC, uh, chose Algorand as uh, the the protocol to put their CBDC upon and. I screenshot, because um, I read their, their official documents, I screenshot uh, the reason they gave as to why they choose Algorand, and I want to read it to you. So here we go. The appointed organizer for the Marshallese Sovereign Initiative chose the Algorand protocol for its speed, scalability, security, and its ability to effectively implement required compliance controls and the transaction finality needed for a national currency. Quote, Algorand was selected after extensive market research among the leading protocol options, say Jim Wagner, co-founder and CTO of SBF Technology. So this is uh, from, you know, officials themselves who um, uh, provided a reason as to why they put that CBDC on Algorand. And there's a website called uh, CBDC Tracker. There's, there's actually a website where you could track the development of CBDCs throughout the world. And... A little bit of research in that website, I found out that there are 16 countries currently discussing putting their CBDCs on Algorand. 16 countries. And some of these countries were big name countries like Japan, Russia, 
France, Singapore, and so on. I actually saw Haiti in that list, actually. So that was pretty cool because, as you guys know, I'm from Haiti. Uh, so I don't know what the hell Haiti was doing in that list, but Haiti's there. And let's be honest, Haiti really need a new currency, right? Because our current currency, the good, is in a toilet. It's completely worthless. So if anyone needs a CBDC, it's fucking Haiti. Um, in any case, uh, 16 countries talking to Algorand right now, uh, discussing putting their CBDCs on, on that blockchain. And as you know, CBDCs are inevitable. It's, it's an inevitability. And you guys already know how I feel about the U.S. economy, about where the U.S. dollar is going. I think the U.S. dollar is going to be inflated into oblivion. And this collapse of, of, this collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, I've been watching a lot of stuff about it and reading a lot of stuff about it. I'm convinced we're going to hyperinflate our currency. And maybe I'll do an episode on that when I really get the full picture. But so far from what I'm reading, it, sh it seems like the Federal Reserve chose hyperinflation. So the dollar's dead and they're going to replace it with a CBDC. Now, what protocol do you think the Federal Reserve is going to choose to put this CBDC upon? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's Algorand. The reason why I say that is because uh, a lot of these government officials, they really get a kick out of academic pedigree. They want something that's part of the establishment. And when you look at Silvio McCauley, uh, he's a professor at MIT. Uh, he has something called the Algorand Foundation, which is very connected to the establishment. Another thing, too, Calber Algorand is one of the few blockchain that is uh, not only carbon neutral, but carbon negative. And you know these government bureaucrats get a kick out of that. So I think uh, when the Federal Reserve chooses to come out with a CBDC, the chances of them choosing Algorand is high. Uh, I actually think Berkeley and MIT are already teaching courses, uh, blockchain courses on Algorand, how to build on top of the Algorand blockchain, similar to how I said uh, Stanford had partnered with Cardano. Well, uh, MIT and uh, Berkeley is, it has a strong partnership with uh, Algorand. So they're, they're part of the establishment, and I think... The likelihood of the Fed choosing Algorand to put its CBDC is high. So I've already bought 3,000 algos. I've stuffed them in my ledger, and that was a test. You know, I'm just testing it out. Uh, when the market corrects or crashes, because some people think the crypto market will crash, and I believe that's probably true, um, I'm going to buy, you know, 97,000 more or probably more Algorand, right? So I'm going to have at least 100,000 Algorand, but so far I have 3,000 and my ledger wallet so i definitely recommend you do the same buy some algo whatever your amount is and once you have your algo make sure to vote and you know get paid for it so that's it for this episode guys i hope you see or understand why i recommend algorand and i think it's only 20 cents right now so what do you have to lose in any case don't forget to press that like button and support me on patreon i haven't seen a new patreon in a while now what are you guys waiting for? You know, I need your support. I need a team so I could have someone do my editing and help me with the research. So come on, become a patron. I need you. And yeah, take care of yourself, guys. I will see you next time.